are now looking to make the comeback. They announced the signing of Jonathan. Uh, it'll be interesting to see how Inter approach this one. Maybe a little bit lackadaisical against the German Stuttgarter kicker's side on Saturday. As we see a lovely flick there. He could well be on the move. No experience of Serie A whatsoever. But in his first season at the club last year, they won Serie B at a camp. Well, I'm sure that most pundits will be expecting them to struggle. But they've got plenty of desire in there. They haven't signed too many new players as yet. I do get a lot of young players on loan from bigger clubs. As here's a chance for Palacio. And he's recovered from that blow a minute ago to slot his team home. It was a lovely ball through to him from Kondog Bia. Three and a half minutes in, and that's 1-0 to Inter already against Carpi. A brilliant finish. And that is absolutely clinical from Palacio. Scored eight goals last season. He'll be looking to add more than that this season. It was a first-time ball through to him. Just playing off the shoulder. Of and Carpi, well, their team, of course, very inexperienced, particularly at Serie A level. Players who were released from the big clubs uh, to get young players with potential on loan. You know, one interesting signing for 20 goals. That had some firepower for them. They're calming down the possession here in the middle, moving the ball around very nicely at the moment. Side of the penalty area here with Brozovic. Has to play the ball back. There was a lot of traffic in there for Carpi. And defenders getting back well. There's gone. Kondog Bia has started this game excellently with a couple of neat flicks and tricks in the middle. So Van Hezus forward. Go and collect the ball. Our side for a throw into Carpi. Just slicing it. Now, as it looks as though Inter have gone through a good he was one of their big success stories of last season the top scorer with 22 goals in fact the top scorer in the whole of Serie A with that and well, they've certainly got the players into Milan it's just whether they can get the system going and so far it's working like clockwork here as we go over 10 minutes played City coach it's Cornwall Beer at the moment is dominating this match. They can't even get anywhere near him, the Carpi players, at this moment in time. Champions League with Monaco, particularly against Arsenal in that competition. Absolutely destroyed them on that evening. And they'll be plying his trade in Serie A and looking to do it week in, week out. This is Demar. And the hesitancy coming from the keeper, Francesco Bonussi. Seemed to go for the ball and then allow one of his defenders to clear it instead. Right up front on his own, rather than dropping deep. And Palacios just playing in the... Looks like a double number. Nokia. And he had big shoes to fill. At the moment, Kavi just struggling with 15 minutes on the clock to get any real possession together. Inter Milan are dominating as far as that is concerned as uh, we see a little bit of action there coming in. Bobby and know that he's there. They're maybe just starting to warm to this contest now. Kondobia again. Kovacic. It seems as though Roberto Mancini really does fancy him as the shield in front of the back four and then just playing balls around. But Inter Milan will have a little bit more space up front for the likes of Riccardi to exploit. So Kondobia just... Well, it's first first touch and then move the ball free kick short not interested in playing the ball into the box 
As Kondalbir turns on the ball and he's challenged by two players. And now the mastermind in midfield. Look to get his foot in as well, as we saw there. We've just played 20 minutes of this match, then it's 1-0 still to Inter. What he was doing, but it seemed to just slice off the outside of his foot. What they're about, trying to force the issue a bit more. And they've made it 1-1. So what will Inter do from here? Well, if I was Roberto Mancini, I'd say just carry on as you are. They have been now a turn for Hernanes and Condobia. Just defender behind him, just did enough. Maybe a chance here for Condobia to pull the trigger. Goes for the short pass instead. And it was a good idea as the ball is played in for Riccardi. And his far post header makes it 2 1. Well, Carpi were on level terms for two minutes. Oh, volleyed cross towards Icardi and he controlled his header superbly to beat Francesco Bonucci with relative ease. It's a lovely ball across to him. Uh, and there's a bit of miscommunication there on the right-hand side for Carpi. Up the tempo. There's not much that Carpi can do about it with the quality of passes that Inter have in their midfield. As the ball is crossed in from Folatizzi. And more good challenging coming in there from Kovacic. The Inter fans around the ground here really appreciating that one. This is very much like a home game for Inter. Palacios was closing in. And that almost led to a grave error. Still, the ball comes towards his goal as well. This is Hernandez. Lovely bit of play, and it almost squirmed under the body. Up a clear lead against Carpi. Here's another chance from distance this time. Having a dig was demand. 17 year old does not look overawed whatsoever. The under 19 international. Here's Kovacic, marauding through midfield. And Palacios was free on the left-hand side. He looked up and spotted him. Decided not to go and try and play in the Argentinian. As the telescopic legs there of Condorbia just managed to bring the ball back under control. It was a loose pass to him. And he's got his team going forward again. Well, he seems to... Condobier covering every blade of grass, and it's a lovely nutmeg, but very good recovery from Pauli. And then Pauli dives in this time, and Inter come away with the ball. And they... oh, what's he going to do? Is he going to go over the wall or around the wall? He goes over, and it's a beauty as well. It's 3-1, and what a celebration as well. The Brazilian free-kick master has done it, no chance for the keeper at all. He was over the other side of the goal. And Hernanes, though, had the presence of mind and skill to get the ball up and down over the wall with great power. Oh, that's brilliant. Right into the bottom corner. And the keeper... At the moment, the Carpi midfielders are being run ragged by this passing game from Inter. This is what we didn't really see enough of last season from them in that disappointing eighth spot finish. They didn't look confident enough to just pop the ball around like they are right now. And a new season brings new hope. As there we see more telepathic play again and a chance for a fourth. And just slipping over there was Brozovic, the Croatian. That's 
three ones certainly a deserved well, scored one of them after a bit of a mix up from inter defender as ronak here as the boys fired down the other end just stepping in with grace to get the ball away not spectacular I doubt he's even broken sweat here yet. As here's Icardi. We haven't seen a lot from him in recent times. Pops up. Can't really punish them either, though. Ball. Is it back across to Hernanes? And the referee just slightly getting in the way there, I think, of Condobia, who wanted to line up a shot, but he couldn't. Now Condobia can line one up, and he's cut all the way across it, though, the Frenchman. And he hung his head immediately. As soon as he took it on, he knew that he'd hooked it. Didn't get a clean contact on it. Inter especially will make a lot of changes at half-time. They've got a fairly strong bench that they've named with a smattering of younger players in there as well. Now Kovacic doing his job perfectly well there, just intercepting, looking up, and Jesus. Ball has just been ticking over in that inter midfield really well in this first half. Been very impressed by them. Carpi at times have been chasing shadows. The Carpi fans, perhaps less so, prod the ball through for the more bustling Nigerian striker. Worked a treat last season as here is Palacios. And the ball just going out there as Demarco stretched. We're in on in this pre-season friendly. There were a couple of stoppages for Palacios at the start of the game. And he had a facial injury, but I don't think the ref injures. And it's been a relatively easy game for the referee.